Hey, Brendan here again with another episode of Strength and Fitness TV and today we're talking netball antics and I'm here with two of my netball warriors, Nat and Shana and we're going to be firstly chatting about their S&T program and then we're going to show you some of the some of the super cool stuff that they get up to in their program. All right, here we go, Strength and Fitness TV. It's a netball specific, specific episode today. I've got Nat and Shana here, Hello. Uh, two of my netball superstars. Nat's disappearing for two weeks, right? Yeah. Where are you going? Uh, to the test series, England against Australia. There you go. No need to boast. <laughs> Alright, what have you just done in the session? Just tell us a little bit about your strength session that you just finished. Okay, so I've done deadlifts and squat jumps, and then a killer core session, um, and then a lunge lum circuit for Alex. Alright, anything to add, Shana? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so we've, <laughs> we've been working on um, building, towards Christmas we did some max strength work uh, and then Nat's leaving us for a few weeks, uh, so we've been working on just giving us some conditioning and some robustness and Shana's in the same sort of mode there. Yeah. Alright, so tell us a little bit what, what you like about strength and conditioning and what you, how you feel it's benefited you as, as netball athletes. Um, it's benefited me, I'm quite a small player, so it would be easy you to push me. Yeah, <laughs> so. um, <laughs> it's easy to push me off the ball, or it was before um, strength and conditioning, so it's helped me, especially working on core, and my leg strength is to like stay upright when I'm going in for a competi competitive. Nah. Um, it's helped me all round, it's made me faster, obviously stronger, um, so when you feel fitter as well, like if you're going to go into a 50-50 ball, I feel like I can get it over the other person, so all round it's helped really. Good stuff, and what are your kind of favourite exercises, or you, you feel the exercises that have helped you the most in training, anything um, in particular? Or? I think deadlift for me, because it's all about the back and legs and the bum, so obviously in that ball you're always, you're in a, like, a squat or lunge position a lot of the time, so it's helped me. Yeah, it's right for me that. It's the biggest lift too. Yeah. I agree with that one, it's my biggest lift. Yeah. I do the trap bar deadlift, I'm not as uh, big time as that. <laughs> but Check you out with the trap yeah. bar deadlift. These girls have got some knowledge, they know about yeah, it. Yes. <laughs> Super deadlift. You come animals. every week, you know your, you know your trap bar from your yeah, um, from your straight bar. Yeah, from your straight right. bar. <laughs> All right, cool. That's Strength and Fitness TV signing TV off. Cap. Netball specific episode. Follow our Netball Warriors on Twitter. No, Peace. It's so here we've got Nat pulling 100k off the floor, um, good, good technique in general with her deadlifts Nat, she puts her hips through at the top nicely, good lockout, but the main thing is we, we really we really do emphasise and place an emphasis on that strength development, and she's loving it. And then here's a couple of little conditioning exercises for the lower body, um, so we've we, Put these together into a, a mini circuit. So you've got Nat doing the lateral lunge and Shana doing the single leg squat. And uh, the single leg squat's really good exercise for field sports for that uh, and court sports for that kind of cutting, change of direction, force absorption, control of valgus, that kind of thing. So very important to keep the, the knee tracking over toes. And the lateral lunge is also a very good conditioner and uh, competence exercise from a mobility perspective, from a, a groin strengthening and endurance perspective um, for for those change of direction sports. So they work quite well together in, in a superset like that and what we want is for a little bit more range than we're seeing in this clip but it's an introduction and it's a coaching process and we need those hips getting down and, and trying to replicate uh, those really explosive changes of direction. All right, moving on, we've got a couple of core exercises now. So we've got Nat doing reverse lunge with the landmine and Shana on the single arm TRX row. So a couple of standing core exercises, always good to get your core stuff on the feet if you're training and if you're performing on your feet, it's, it's a good thing to train that way. So with, with this one, with the, C, the TRX single arm row, we want that left shoulder in, in line with the right shoulder. <laughs> she ain't got a clue what I'm talking about here, but um, she's getting into it now. So keeping that competence, keeping your trunk stable, um, and those shoulders level and it's a very very challenging exercise the reverse lunge is, is really really tough and really 
Nat's actually doing a really good job of that there by staying upright, moving those arms. The first time people try this, they tend to fall over um, because it really does pull you down and you've got to really resist that and brace and get everything working together. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you again in another episode of Strength and Fitness TV. We'll bring you more.